Well, I think this is it for me with Disney here. I've been debating to make videos about WandaVision, but it's just such a stupid show. And I just don't know where they were going with this. You had this entire build-up to absolutely nothing. And then on top of it, you had Elizabeth Olsen going on about some Luke Skywalker reveal type thing where it's somebody that's going to be equal to him. Well, they didn't have any of that on here. Nothing. So this is how the majority of the show is, for the most part, is w Wanda living in TV shows and... Just a bunch of people talking and fluff and just a total waste. So, here's a typical Disney thing. White man bad here. So, this white guy here is running this operation called S.W.O.R.D. And, or he works for S.W.O.R.D. I should say. And his whole point on the show is to kill Wanda... Just because he wants to so badly. And they don't even explain in the end why he wanted to do it so badly. It, it, he, he wasn't rational or scientific or anything about it. He didn't even think to go call the damn Avengers and say, Hey, your buddy over here has created her own city and is living in TV land. There's something wrong here. You you want to come help her, Thor, or, you know, Hawkeye, or somebody. No, nothing. They, they don't even think to ask the Avengers for help. You have an Avenger having a breakdown or something. Create your own city, and your response is to, I need to kill Wanda, no matter, no matter what. So, this character was introduced into this show as, like, a, a supporting role, I guess I'd say. But, unfortunately, like John Boyega in Star Wars, all she does is run around screaming Wanda. It's just stupid. I mean, the most she did on this show was talk about Wanda's clothes being made of Kevlar. And besides that, the rest of it is just her arguing with that sword guy because white man bad, white people are bad. You could take this lady out of the show and it'd be the same show. It's just a pointless character. It's just tokenism virtue signaling garbage they could have done way more with her at the end all she did was just stand there and I guess she gained some powers or something from Wanda because Wanda changed her DNA or something and besides that it's a, a useless character ugh <sighs> ugh <sighs> Cat Dennings is gorgeous, as you can see here. And on Two Broke Girls, she was funny as hell, but she just annoyed the hell out of me on this. And then they had a whole subplot of them sneaking around and doing a bunch of stuff that led nowhere. No nothing happened. And this poor Asian guy... D Disney is the most racist thing I've ever seen. How nobody sees this in the majority is beyond me. This this guy's whole point on here was to be a clumsy Asian guy who does nothing. It's just, you, you could take both of these two people out of the show as well and it'd still be the same show. Instead, they wasted their. They wasted them. They did nothing in here. Cat Dennings goes and hacks a, a laptop to tell the black chick your DNA's been changed. Whoop de doo. And this guy is just a stupid, clumsy idiot. 
But hey, look, look everybody, we've got a clumsy alien, we got a clumsy Asian here, just like in Star Wars with Rose Tico, who can't drive a speeder. We like to stereotype our Asians, people. But look, we've got an Asian here. <sighs> Oof. I don't know where to begin with this. So, Vision, after Infinity War, apparently was picked up by this sword agency, his body parts, and not the Wakanda guy. Like, what? why didn't Black Panther... Well, he... This is just so much stupid shit on here. I just don't understand. So, but Black Panther... You know, that other girl on there, I forget what her name is. The, the scientist lady, the one that was trying to take the stone out of his head. Why didn't she go and take Vision and fix him and do whatever? No, we have this sword government FBI thing come and take Vision's body parts and they're hacking him up and trying to make an iPhone with his parts or something. I don't know. It was really stupid. So, anyways, uh, the lead sword guy, you know, Mr. White Man Bad, who's trying to kill Wanda, sends a drone into the town and tries to kill her. And Wanda sends the drone back, but she left her energy on it or whatever. And they use that to create this new Vision, who is... He's basically Vision in Age of Ultron. He doesn't know anything. He's stupid. All he knows is he has to kill the fake Vision that Wanda created. So he goes into town and he tries to kill the fake Vision and... The fake vision transfers his soul or, I don't know, his he uploads his, himself to him or something. And then this guy just takes off. He just, you know, peace out. I'm going to Sandals Jamaica, bitches. I'm going to, you know, go have a Mai Tai on the beach and think about nothing because I'm this stupid idiot that they threw in there. It, it was just so pointless. What was the point of this guy on here? It was just stupid. He just takes off. He doesn't help Wanda or anybody. Just, oh, I'm out of here. Peace out. <sighs> Look at this. Do, do I need to say any more? This is the main villain that, you know, Disney thought nobody had a clue about. And it was a big reveal of something we all knew already. I mean, this lady watched Wanda create a dog bracelet out of thin air. And she didn't say anything. She's just like, oh. And she's... I, I just don't know where to begin with this lady. I mean, look, look, look at this makeup. Look at the hair. I mean, this lady looks like she's going to a renaissance fair. I know she's supposed to be a witch and everything, but, I mean, they just overdid it with the... I mean, she must have 50 pounds of makeup on her face. <laughs> I just, this show is just such a fuck up. Like, it could have done so much more with it, and they wasted it on this. And all this silly garbage with the TV shows. and So Elizabeth Olsen was saying we're going to have a Luke Skywalker type reveal at the end. We didn't have anything. Nothing. We didn't have Doctor Strange show up. We didn't have X-Men show up. We didn't have Magneto. I guess you could say Quicksilver was on there, but... He he didn't even do anything, and, and you could take him out of the show, and it'd be the same thing. It's just a bunch of pointless people on here. I mean, they just totally blew this whole thing, man. <laughs> well, I'll give them this. this. 
it, the suit looks like the comic book. It, it's like a more accurate version. The, this is off the comics. That, that looks pretty close. This hair looks like shit. That looks like a, a crappy Halloween wig. The, the suit's not bad. I mean, I'll give them that. I mean, that that's a pretty good interpretation of the comic book suit. But, you see, Elizabeth Olsen here has been crying for years about why is she running around with her uh, tits out. Because they have her like in a bustier thing or something. So that that's what all of this is about. She wanted she wanted to have this suit off the comics, and it, it it it's pretty accurate. I'll give them that. I mean, the leggings and this and th this part they they could have made this like a little. This would have been going like it should have been like that Halloween outfit. Like, it should be going up here and then down. But, overall, it's... It, it looks like the comics. <laughs> they, got, they gotta fix this hair. <laughs> this looks like a freaking Ronald McDonald wig or some bullshit. That this looks really bad. So, after her and Agnes are flying around and all of this, and this big fight goes down, and... She, and Scarlet Witch wins. She makes Agnes her bitch. And she forces her to live in this crappy town. And then we cut to this uh, Finn here. Or the female Finn here. Screaming Wanda. She meets a, a Cree in a theater. And I'm assuming... Nick Fury was the one she was looking at. They don't show it. So Nick Fury, I'm guessing, is recruiting her for some stupid bullcrap. I mean, she's the original uh, Captain Marvel. And she's a way better actress than Brie Larson is by a thousand percent. So if they make her... Captain Marvel, I, I wouldn't, I, I'd have no problem with that. She's a way better actress. And they just need to, they need to stop with this stereotype shit. It, I don't know why these people don't understand this. John Boyega's caught on to this. They just use minorities like this, you know, to virtue signal. I mean, this this lady could have done a lot more in the show, and they and and halfway through the season, they're making you think like she's gonna do something, and she does does barely anything on here. Well, anyways, w Wanda leaves the town and she goes out in the middle of nowhere, and she's living in some cabin, and she's got um. She, she, her ghost or something is doing something. It's, her ghost is looking at books or other dimensions or something. And you hear her kids screaming, which are dead. I don't know how the kids are screaming. And she didn't learn anything other, other than to not do what she did in, in a town. She just figured out... Oh well, I should do this out in the middle of nowhere because it was wrong. It was wrong of me to screw these people over and take them hostage and do this whole bit here. Other than that, she didn't learn anything. She just went. She all she learned was to go in the middle of nowhere and to repeat the same thing. So I don't know if there's going to be a season two of this. I doubt there's going to be another thing of it. I'm guessing it's. You know, there was supposed to be this giant cliffhanger. And where, where, where was that? There's no real cliffhanger here. It's just her looking into other dimensions or something. And her d dead kids are uh, crying, saying, help us and all this. So, I don't know. I don't see how this is tying in to Doctor Strange 2. I don't I didn't see this epic reveal like she claimed. That was a big screw up on her part. I I don't know what she was talking about. 
it it could be possible they cut it out. I don't know, but um, Disney totally blew this whole thing, man. They blew it with the virtue signaling with her. They blew it with the the comedy bit. They they blew it with the villain. I mean, Catherine Hahn, the the gal that plays Agnes, is a really good actor, and she's really hot. She's pretty cute. But, I don't know. I mean, it just came off cheesy, and I don't know. It just, it, it didn't work very well. I mean, I just don't know what they're thinking. Anyways, um, I've I've had it I've I've had it with Disney, I've had it with Disney. What they did to Gina Carano, they f they fired her on false pretenses. They said she said things that she didn't say. She didn't say anything. She shared shared a tw uh, she retweeted a picture, and they fired her. And then they called her. Well, they said she posted abhorrent posts. Um. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to take this anymore. And and I'm getting tired of this tokenism thing with the Asians and the black people and the white people. And I mean, this is identity politics on steroids. That's all Disney is now. I wouldn't even call them an entertainment service. I, I, the, the, Disney is an activist organization. That's what they are. They're pushing this whole agenda thing and using black and Asians and others. It's just shit. Just total shit. Anyways, I've had enough of this crap. Um, if you liked WandaVision, that's fine. I mean, I thought, I thought her outfit was more comic accurate, but it made me laugh because I, the first time I saw that outfit, it made me think of her crying about Oh, why are my tits always out and all of this? So she wanted her chest covered and everything. So they gave her the more accurate Scarlet Witch outfit. I mean, I don't know. It, it looks okay. But anyways, thanks for watching.